In this video, I am going to go over some of the fixture locations and the length and width along with the door locations and how they can actually create problems um, for your bathroom. Now, I'm not going to, um, you know, provide you with 200 different floor plans. I'm going to kind of stick to this one here and uh, vary from it just uh, slightly um, in one or two cases. But your standard bathroom with a bathtub, a toilet, and a sink. This right here and the door coming in here, either the door right here or the door here, is uh, probably the most common bathroom you're ever going to find. And uh, by the time you're done with the video, I think you'll understand why. So five foot is usually going to be the width. Reason for that is because most tubs are five foot wide. If you come to one that is five foot six inches, six inches, or 66 inches, that's probably going to be because the bathtub is five foot six inches, or there's going to be a little tile ledge at the end. Now, the width of the bathroom can vary. For example, seven foot six, I believe, is about the smallest bathroom you're going to have for something like this. I say that. All you need to do is put a different sink and maybe a stand up a pedestal sink and uh, you can make it even smaller. So maybe seven foot is going to be about the smallest for a bathtub, toilet and a sink. Um, maybe eight foot to eight foot six is going to be will provide you with a larger vanity area. Most toilets and bathtubs are about the same width, 29 to 30 inches here. And then, of course, you need a 30 inch uh, minimum distance between fixtures for the toilet. So that's kind of a standard. When you make these longer, usually the only thing you're going to do is uh, benefit wise is to create a longer sink or cabinet. So this one right here, now pay attention. I'm going to flip it over. This is a reverse. And now the reason why I'm flipping them over is just to give you an idea to um, kind of when you're looking at a plan and you're saying, wait a minute, this this I, this isn't my house here. This is. Well, all you got to do is flip it over in your brain, you know, and if that's not the case and yours is a little different, maybe it's like this or maybe it's like this. So just wanted to give you an idea. You can rotate these around in your mind. Um, you know, maybe you might need to do it on a piece of paper, but there are a lot of bathroom designs that are laid out just like this. And, uh, um, you know, you're thinking yours isn't like that because your door's over here or something. Right. But uh, most of the time they're going to be five foot wide um, by about eight foot just flipped around in different directions. So. Here's a bad design. Now, the reason why I say that is it's going to be perfectly fine as long as you don't put a longer toilet in there or a larger door. You put a larger door and the door swings into the toilet area, you're not going to be able to shut it. So here we have a longer toilet with a wider door. So you can always put a smaller door in um, if you have a wider toilet or a longer toilet, something like this. But... This is something you need to think about. Now, when I make my videos, there's a lot of things that I point out in that video. This might be for a design. You know, you're looking at this for design ideas. But if you go to replace your toilet, this is important here. I have replaced toilets before. I've went to people's houses. They buy the toilet. I go to their house and I go, you know what? Not going to work. You know, you're going to have to get a smaller toilet. Uh, not too happy, but... Uh, as long as I'm not the one who has to take the toilet back, then at least I'm not uh, miffed or irritated about that. They can be. So something definitely to think about. And of course, this is what it would look like with a small toilet. And uh, here's what it would look like with a longer one. So you can see where it's going to hit the toilet. Not going to be a good thing. Now let's go to putting the toilet on the other side. This isn't going to be a problem with the door because now the vanity's in here. Now, it could be a problem if you're going to get a wider vanity, so that would be something else to consider in your design. I mean, know some people think that they, that they can buy a kitchen cabinet, which might be a little wider than a bathroom cabinet, and that would definitely be um, worth checking before you purchase something like that. So this right here, again, we're back to the standard design that I've showed you 
um, in the very beginning. This one here, you can't walk through. You're going to have a tight spot here. And I'm not quite sure if this needs to be 21 inches, um, but I know the area in front of the toilet needs to be 21 inches. Um, here you have a smaller sink. So I reduced the size of the sink cabinet, made it a little smaller to make the area a little easier to walk through. This could be a possibility if you want to um, create a design like this. So if you already have an, an existing design like this, um, you know, and I understand it's going to cost a lot to change the plumbing, you're probably going to want to stay with this. Don't, uh, don't change it. Now, this, of course, don't even think about, um, you know, and again, I'm, I got to throw this out there. I've had a lot of people say, can I put the toilet in front of the sink? Well, this is what you're going to end up with in this bathroom. Now, you can always make it a little longer. Um, fine. Now, now you can uh, change some stuff around. 21 inches is the minimum distance in front of a toilet, from the front of the toilet to the finished of area of whatever it is, a wall or a cabinet. So now let's go ahead and we're working with the same width, five foot, seven foot, eight, an inch, inch longer. Um, we got a door in the center, sink and a toilet on the side. So this right here is, is a, another good design, functional. And uh, the only thing I would change with this is I would put the door on the other side because most of the time you're going to come in and use the sink. Um, or the toilet, and you can stand over here and shut the door. So the sink might get used five or six times a day. Toilet might get used five or six times a day. Bathtub once a day, something like that. So you can see where I'm going with. If you have this here, you're going to have to shut the uh, door. Now I have seen, actually lived in a place where the toilet was over here and the sink was over here. And the toilet or the door opened up this way. And that's not that big of a deal. Most of the time when you go to the bathroom, you shut the door anyway. So uh, if you were to re reverse these, then that would probably be acceptable. So this is just it reversed. I got the bathtub over here and uh, the sink and the toilet over here. And the door swing with another... Um, this would be the same bathroom here, and you can see where this is fine. You have the bathroom that's five foot wide, a door on the side, swinging over. You got a sink and a toilet here, so this is a good design. Longer toilet could hit the door if the toilet is over here instead of over here. Now, this right here, probably not going to be as functional. So you can see where if the toilet was over here, it's going to be a little easier. You're not going to have to worry about this distance here. Door location, let's go ahead and change it. I'm going to put the door over here. So this is kind of the um, bathroom layout floor plan that we started with in the beginning, but it would be perfectly fine to have a door located over here. Only thing you're not gonna want here is to have the door. Here it's fine, you got plenty of room. You don't wanna have it swinging the other way. So if the door opens this way, great. If it opens this way, it's going to create problems for your towel bar. If you have a towel bar behind the door, and of course, if you could just imagine coming in here. So you're going to open the door. You're going to have to stand in this area to shut it or stand in this area over here to shut it. So not really that good of a design. So here we have the door um, swinging in. I've seen this plenty of times. The door won't shut because there's, uh, or won't close all the way, open all the way, because there's a towel bar in the way or a cabinet or something. And so you're kind of getting into the bathroom over here and then shutting the door to use it. So, you know, again, here's the door blocking this off here. You're going to have to stand over here to shut it, or you're going to have to stand over here. And that is it for this video. Hope it helped. Um, if it does, feel free to uh, hit the old thumbs up button. If it doesn't, well, heck, go check out some more of our videos and uh, let us know what you think of them.